I'm Terry Wright here with Borough Community Media. We're at the Hussey School with Tina Harding, who is the principal and has been for the last several years, and Mike Roberts, who started here this year. Brand but, new. Yes. Brand new. I've been on campus for a couple weeks. Brand new. However, you've been at the middle school for quite some time. Yeah, about the last 20, and this is year 34 in the district. So I've been around for a while. Around for a while. I've seen a lot of familiar families. Yeah. Um, so we're here today to learn a little bit about the Hussey School start and how things are going. Can you tell us how the year started, Tina? I think it started out great. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of kids have been excited to be back. Um, teachers are excited to have them. We were ready. We're ready to go. Fantastic. Yeah. And um, busing, has there been any problem with busing at all? No. Um, the buses have been, we have buses go smoothly. Um, they're usually done by three. 40 or something the kids are eager and doing well on them okay. yeah and what's really nice is the bus drivers are really good about knowing their students knowing their kids and helping them out and our staff here so there's a it's been pretty smooth going but a lot of it is just safety reasons and i think the bus drivers know their kids by now uh -huh. so 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 far there's been no stories so i think we've been okay <laughs> fantastic <We like> that. <laughs> now i know a lot of schools in uh, the state have hired a lot of new staff um did you find that you had to hire new staff this year or um did a lot of them return we have about four new teachers to the district we have a new kindergarten teacher a miss carr we have a first grade teacher miss batchelder and then two second grade teachers miss um, Talbot and Miss Reynolds. We also have a new nurse this year, which yep. is exciting because she's a noble graduate. We're excited to have her. So we have a new secretary. nurse, Carrie Fleming, and a secretary, Julie Rothstein. So we have some new hires. Okay, well, that sounds like yeah. quite a few, actually. Well, we are still <laughs> looking for others, so yeah. as we well, all know. That was going to be my next yeah, question. Um, yeah, Ed Techs and some, uh, yeah, there's still some openings um, definitely here that we were good, but we still could use a couple more staff. And what's the requirement mm -hmm. for Ed Techs these days? Well, Tina knows more. There's three different categories but most okay. of it is any sort of schooling um, and some experience hopefully with the with the age group or what we're looking for whether it be regular education or special ed but for the most part um, people would qualify probably easier than they realize and that I know district-wide K to 12 I think all buildings could use some more help okay um, and so even if they don't want a Monday through Friday type job we are always looking for substitutes also yeah which is okay. a great job yeah okay um, so what's new at the school this year what type of programming have you instituted this year that's new for the kiddos we have, um, it's not really new, but we're doing Eureka Squared. We, it's a new, it's an addition, an update from our previous one. Otherwise, uh, we still have our um, flex grouping, our same writing programs. The other programs are the same. Okay. So those are going well. Um, programming wise, I think that's all we have for programming. Oh, we do, we are starting PBIS this year. So all the elementary schools in our district are doing PBIS. I think Knowlton is on its second year, but it's our first year. It's a behavior support system. So we're excited about that. Okay, fantastic. And can you tell me a little bit about special programs for after school things for this age level? Have we got anything for that? Um, we hope this year to get back to some of the things we used to do. We used to do after school clubs like Lego Club and other things the teachers would do. In the, in the recent years we had to stop, but we are eager to be able to offer some of those. Last year and this year we did, last year we had a math camp, which we will have again this year with Ms. Wilson and we'll see what else we can get going. Fantastic. Yeah, I've even heard a rumor of a math arcade that might be coming to uh, to us. I mean, thanks to Kerry Wilson and some other people. So the, okay. we'll have to wait and see uh, for the kids. Right. I would like to tell them, Tina's the expert. I'm still learning uh, what's going on here. And um, so I'll, she's good about the uh, the programs that we think will, we have our Y care in the morning and in the afternoon for the, okay. to help the kids and the families out. Uh, but a lot of it will be um, um, down the road, I think. Okay. Mm. And is there anything special? How can parents keep involved what what can they do to stay involved with kids at this age we're really hoping to get back our parent volunteers I think we've lost that in because of you know COVID and other issues before but we're excited to get some parent val volunteers back in we'd love to have parents helping out in our literacy time our writing just reading with kids and we used to have parents come in too that had skills to share I think our kids would benefit from that a lot so if you're interested or reach out to your teacher or call the office Mike and I would love to talk to you we are eager to have volunteers back in our schools and I found out that most of our staff whether it be individual teachers or grade level teams will reach out and communicate to families whether it's a weekly newsletter or um, just a, a certain emails to certain groups and our special interventionists will do that as well. So keep checking your email because there's always a lot of information coming from our staff. 
Okay, fantastic. Is there anything more that you would like our viewers to know about the Hussey School, about the programming, or? I know there's a, been a lot of work, as, as we all know, a pretty short summer. We get out, what, on the 23rd, or it was one of the later years for us, yeah. and I've been around. Uh, but I know there's been a lot of work on campus. Uh, Ms. Harding might know that we really, we're finishing up some projects, but we're getting right. close. It's, okay. it's been a busy summer. We had, um, we're having some HVAC work done and air going in. It wasn't ready last week for the heat wave, but just think of how great it's going to be in the summer and for next year. So we do have central air going in. We also had a new sign put in this summer. Our PTO used some of our fundraising money from the Muddy Mile and purchased a new sign for the Hussey School. So we've been busy with a lot of that going on in the building. Great. And I've had a lot of fun as the new person here, thanks to the students and the optimism and their positivity and working with Tina has been great and the staff. So as someone that's pretty uh, experienced in the district coming here for the first time, um, I'm really enjoying myself and a lot of that is just because of the smiles of the kids and uh, it's, it's nice. They're a little, a little smaller than I'm used to, yeah. uh, but, it, but it's been fun. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we thank you for taking time with BCM this morning and we thank appreciate you. your sharing with our viewers some of the new stuff that's happening at Hazi School. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.